Let's take a look at the features of the Accord forms themselves within Forms Boss. You'll notice on your main menu that you have two different lists of forms. You've got an alphabetical listing and a numerical listing, and you can search in either of those by typing either the number of the form or um, a word from the title of the form in this search characters line in order to find the form that you're looking for. Another way to make it easier for you to find the forms that you want is by narrowing down this uh, list of forms. There are hundreds of forms in this list and it could be that you don't need all of them. The way to hide some of those forms would be to right click and select hide unhide. When it brings up the hide unhide screen you'll notice the list of forms here on the unhidden side includes all of your forms unless you have already hidden some of them. If you wanted to um, hide certain forms from appearing on your menu you can just select those forms. You can hold down the shift key and select an entire list or you can click them one at a time with uh, just holding down the control key Let's say I wanted to hide some of these state-specific forms. I would just select those uh, forms and then click this red arrow button to move it to the hidden side. And those forms on the hidden side will no longer appear in my menus list. Now if there is a form over here that you decide you do want to have it appear on your menu, you can just select it and uh, move it right back over with the green arrow button. So that's a useful way to unclutter your forms menus within Forms Boss with that hide unhide feature. Back on the menu itself, you will be able to search for a form with the search characters line here. So I'm going to just type 126 and it will filter out everything else so that I'm going to open up this commercial general liability section form. When it opens up the uh, form, it will open it up to a previous record of this form if you have one. At this point I don't have any records of this particular form, uh, but if I did it would actually pull up a filled in form that I had done previously and I could create a new form by just clicking this new record button here. I can also navigate between records uh, for this form here with this first record, previous record, next record, and last record buttons. Um, all of these command buttons are very similar to the ones that we went over in the basic navigation video. Um, so they should look familiar to you already. Let me show you some features of, uh, of the Accord forms here. Since this is a brand new record, um, I wanted to select the customer first. That's always your first uh, priority when you are creating a new record in a form. You can just click on this pull down box here and select your customer from the list. And when you do select your customer, it will automatically put in your date entered as today's date. If you wanted to change that, you're welcome to. You can just select uh, in the date entered box and change it. You can also select a company um, in certain forms. There will be a um, combo box for your company here. And you'll just be able to select the company that you want to use. You can also access the company's form by clicking this Add Edit Companies button. That will open up the company form and you can make any changes that you might need to make or you can add another company um, here. You could just click this New Record button to add a brand new company if you needed to. Um, so that's how you would access your company's form from within one of the Accord forms. You can also access, um, if I scroll over here, you'll see that there's an Add Edit Customers button here too so that I can access my customer prospect form from within the Accord form as well. So there's my customer screen if I needed to make sure that I had selected the correct customer. Um, I would just go here and, and uh, check out my customer prospects form. You can search for a record um, by clicking on this uh, search button here. You can print the record with the print button. You can make a duplicate copy of this form with this uh, copy button here. 
The send a memo button uh, is the same as the one um, in the customer prospects form that we went over in the basic navigation. You can spell check the form uh, with this spell check button. I'm going to explain more about this autofill a related form button here in just a moment. And you can also zoom in and out of this form just by clicking on this button. If you need it in a larger print, you can just zoom in and then zoom right back out again. I'm going to enter some uh, information in this form. Um, you can type in a policy number here. You can navigate between fields by pressing the tab key on your keyboard. Uh, and that allows you to just very easily navigate between fields. You'll notice that some of these fields you can just type in, uh, as I've been doing, and then there are also checkbox fields. Um, when you reach a checkbox, you can check it by just clicking the space bar um, on your keyboard. If you just uh, select the space bar, you'll be able to um, check those checkboxes as you need to. I'm going to come over here, actually, um, and enter some numbers so that I can show you some more about um, auto-filling related forms here. I'm going to save this record and then I'm going to click the auto-fill a related form button. This button will not be here for every form um, because some forms are just standalone forms that don't really have any other forms connected. Uh, but if there are forms that are related to this one, you'll be able to just click this button and uh, you'll see for this particular form, there are three um, related forms. I'm going to select the Certificate of Liability Insurance and click OK. And it will open up uh, the certificate for me. You'll notice that it pre-fills all of the information from the old form that I was just working on, that Commercial General Liability section. Um, it will pre-fill here in this form the data that had a, I had already entered in that other form. So it's got the policy number, um, it has the check boxes filled in down here, it's got the uh, effective date, and it has these uh, amounts that I had entered on the previous form. So that's how the autofill a related form feature works. Um, let me show you some specific um, and unique features of certificates in Forms Boss. You'll notice that there are certain fields uh, within a certificate that are a bright green color rather than the gray color that most forms are. That's because these green fields, uh, even these check boxes, these green check boxes, those are specific to a certain um, certificate holder and you can have more than one certificate holder on a form. Um, so let me scroll down here to the uh, holders section of this form. At the bottom of the um, form you'll see the certificate holder section and um, you'll be able to add um, certificate holders here in order to add a certificate holder from your um, certificate holder list, you would click the New Record button here, and then you would click the Add Edit Lookup Holders button. It will pull up your master list of certificate holders, and you can manage your list of certificate holders however you need to here. Um, you can navigate with the same navigational buttons that you've seen on several forms now. You can add a new record um, within this uh, certificate holders uh, list with this button. Um, you can search for a certificate holder here with the search button. So let's say I wanted to select this um, certificate holder. I would just click OK. It will take me to that certificate holder and then I'll click OK here in order to fill that certificate holder into my certificate. You'll notice that there are some green fields here as well.
let me show you what happens as you add more holders. I'm going to type something there and I'm going to save that for this certificate holder. Now I'm going to add a second holder for this same certificate. I'm going to click the new record button here. Then I'm going to click the add edit lookup holders. I'm going to search for the holder that I'm looking for. Select it, click OK, and then OK again, and it will put that second holder in here. I'm going to save that holder. Now you'll notice that it says down here in our holder command line one of two, which means there are two holders uh, included on this form. I can navigate between those holders with my navigational buttons here. You'll notice I can just click right back and forth and all of the green fields will change according to the settings for each specific holder. So that's how you would use the uh, holders section and the green fields um, within certificates. You'll also notice over here on the right hand side of the certificate there's another little combo box. This is for your sales representative. So you can have a sales representative um, for this form and I would just select my sales representative by pulling down on the combo box here. If I had a signature attached to this sales representative, the signature would appear here in the signature spot. Um, I don't actually have a signature loaded at this point, but we will go into more detail about signatures in a later tutorial so you'll be able to see that more later on. I also want to draw your attention to one more unique feature of um, certificates and that's these red arrow buttons that you'll see here. These have to do with the policy effective and policy expiration dates that are listed here. So I've already got an effective date programmed in I'm going to put in an expiration date. Click Save. Now if I just click on these uh, forward and backward arrows it will change those dates one year forward or one year backward depending on which um, arrow I click. So if you wanted to do a form, um, the same form that you had done last year, you wanted to just do it again but update the expiration and effective dates, you would just uh, make a duplicate copy of that form and then come in here and click these date um, arrows in order to update the date within the new form. And you can save it with uh, those date changes. I want to open one more uh, form here so that I can show you one more special feature of certain Accord forms. So let's close out of this certificate and we're going to close out of the commercial general liability section. We're back to our main menu screen uh, with our search mechanism and we're going to this time search for the 127 which is the business auto section. I'm going to open up that form. What I wanted to show you particularly using this form were the uh, vehicle and driver prefill features within Forms Boss. So first I'm going to assign a customer to this form. Make sure to save it. And then I'm going to go here to this Add Edit Drivers button. When I click on that button it will pull up a list of all of the drivers that I have listed for this customer. Now this list is on your customer prospect form so I've already entered all of the information necessary for these uh, drivers on the customer prospect form and here I have them listed. I can select which ones that I want to use on this form just by um, clicking on the first one and then I can use either the shift button or the control button um, to highlight more than one and then just click OK 
and you'll notice that it pre-fills um, all of the information into the driver information section of this form that I had previously entered on the uh, driver information form on the customer prospect screen. So that's a very handy way to uh, save yourself some time retyping in all that data um, with that driver form. This particular form also has a vehicle section that works very similarly here on page three. You, you will notice um, that you can navigate between the pages of forms just with these tabs here rather than having to scroll all the way down uh, through pages and pages of forms we just have each page in its own separate tab so I click on page 3 tab and I can see uh, the third page and you'll notice here there's an add edit vehicles button that appeared so I'm gonna click that button and it will pull up the list of all of my vehicles that I had previously entered on the customer prospects form for this customer. I can select the vehicles that I want to add to this form and click OK. And you'll notice that it will pre-fill all of the information that I had put on the vehicle form for each vehicle into this form. Uh, just conveniently there for me so that I don't have to retype in all of that data. So that gives you an idea of some really handy uh, time-saving features of the Accord forms in Forms Boss Plus.